Oceans by Juan Ramon Jimenez Translated from the Spanish by Robert Bly I have a feeling that my boat has struck, down there in the depths, against a great thing. And nothing happens. Nothing. Silence. Waves. Nothing happens? Or has everything happened? And are we standing now, quietly, in the new life? Gifts by Xu Ting Translated from the Chinese by Carolyn Kaiser My dream is the dream of a pond, not just to mirror the sky, but to let the willows and ferns suck me dry. I'll climb from the roots to the veins, and when leaves wither and fade, I will refuse to mourn, because I was dying to live. My joy is the joy of sunlight. In a moment of creation, I will leave shining words in the pupils of children's eyes, igniting golden flames. Whenever seedlings sprout, I shall sing a song of green. I'm so simple, I'm profound. My grief is the grief of birds. The spring will understand. Flying from hardship and failure to a future of warmth and light. There my blood-stained pinions will scratch hieroglyphics on every human heart for every year to come. Because all that I am has been a gift from the earth. A Blessing by James Wright Just off the highway to Rochester, Minnesota, twilight bounds softly forth on the grass, and the eyes of those two Indian ponies darken with kindness. They have come gladly out of the willows to welcome my friend and me. We step over the barbed wire into the pasture where they have been grazing all day alone. They ripple tensely. They can hardly contain their happiness that we have come. They bow shyly as wet swans. They love each other. There is no loneliness like theirs. At home once more, they begin munching the young tufts of spring in the darkness. I would like to hold the slenderer one in my arms, for she has walked over to me and nuzzled my left hand. She is black and white. Her mane falls wild on her forehead, and the light breeze moves me to caress her long ear that is delicate as the skin over a girl's wrist. Suddenly I realize that if I stepped out of my body, I would break into blossom. Hey everyone, uh, my name is Mark Adams. I am the uh, Assistant Professor of Instrumental Music Education at the University of Delaware. Um, I also teach courses in songwriting. Um, if you're like me, you can't wait for things to get back to normal. Uh, but for now, I hope you're safe and well. Um, and this is uh, an original song of mine called A Thousand Years. You couldn't build a wall, build a barricade. Fence off all rooms to your heart. Separate us with metal and stone. Sure, it gets lonely here on my own. But until you're ready, ready to tear it down. And even if a brick doesn't move for a thousand years. Until then, I'll be right here. You could take a car, take an airplane, travel thousands.
separate us with mountains and dirt, but oceans between us now, what could it hurt? Until you're ready, ready to come back home. And even if you don't take a step for a thousand years, take your time. And until then, I'll be right. Even if I'm left alone for a thousand years, I'm for you away right here. Right here. The ocean, a place that we can relax and unwind. For some of us, even memories of lazy days by the sea lead to calm and sleep. May we soon visit such shores again. Seaside B by Marjorie Maddox. Salt seasons all sautés our other lives out, sun grills sandy leisure into each strand of hair, each sea-stained square of skin stretched tightly toward that ungangly octopus of sun. Listen, the tide's wet breath wants only you. Let be. Seaside B, previously published in local news from someplace else, with in stock publishers. Certainly, this poem has taken on new meaning and significance in the midst of the pandemic. Ode to Normal by Marjorie Maddox. Between crises, normal enters as faint memory, mannerisms we knew once upon a time, now fresh from the shower, blonde hair dripping, long legs hop clicking two steps at a time down the front stairs, just in time for flank steak and garlic mashed potatoes, which normal passes ever so politely to the right. How to high-five the return of the missing, prostrate ourselves before the stranger, unexpectedly resurrected from pain in time for an ordinary Saturday. We swallow our songs of praise, sit on hands anxious to applaud, refuse the almost unbearable urge to break dance on the kitchen table. Here, we say to normal, is the unfatted calf cooked to your liking, and over here is your favorite childhood dessert. So good to have you. Please come again. Previously published in Orbis, Quarterly International Journal.